Hello, I am one of the developers from Aurora Devs, and today I will show you how to integrate the replicated Voltan and Mandolin system with ALS v4. First thing you want to do is migrate the folder for the system in your ALS v4 directory. Then you want to go under blueprint character many underscore uv4 then meshes then rigs. You want to copy the IK rig of the uv4 mannequin somewhere in your ALS v4 directory. Right click it, assets action, then bulk edit via property matrix. Now you want to change the imported skeleton to the animad ALS skeletal mesh. Make sure to save, then exit. Now you want to head back into the rigs folder from the Mani UE4. Then you want to duplicate the UE4 Mani to UE5 Mani IK retarder. We're going to be using it to retarget from the Mani UE4 to the ALS mannequin. Select the target IK rig asset and replace it with the ALS IK rig. Now go under chain mapping, select the root bone and set the translation mode to globally scaled. Now under asset browser, look for the third person slide montages and the third person vault montages. Make sure to select the montages and not the animation sequences. Here I will be retargeting these animation montages to a folder under ALS v4, which I will name parkour. Now we're going to copy the original animations for Mantlin for ALS and we're going to use them as the animations for the replicated Voltin and Mantlin system. Copy the default animations for Mantlin to the parkour folder we created earlier. Next thing you want to do is open the animation sequences for the Mantlin and you want to cut the very beginning of these animations. You basically want to cut them right where the character starts grabbing onto the obstacle. For these animations, 10 frames in should be enough. create animation and montages from these animations. Don't hesitate to rename them to something more easily recognizable so that you can easily find them later on. Next, open the animation montages we created and change the slot from default group to movement action group dot base layer. Now we're going to add the mantle notifies to both animation montages. What you want to add is the mn underscore mantle underscore interp upward, then the interp forward. You want to place the interp upward one at the very beginning of the animation. Then you want to place the forward one right when the character sl starts lifting their legs to climb over the obstacle. Next, you want to open the third person slide montages that we created earlier and change the slot from default group to movement action group dot base layer. For the slide main montage, however, you also want to add a animation notify state called movement action and you want to set the default action to rolling. That way you can rotate your character while sliding. Make sure that the animation notify state covers the entire animation.
for the built-in animation, you'll notice that the notifies are already there. As the, these are different from the mantle notifies. You'll have three, the inter upward, the inter forward, and inter downward notifies. Next, you want to open the animation sequences for the voltin and mantlin, and you want to make sure that root motion is disabled and force root lock is enabled. For the sliding animation sequences, you want to make sure that root motion is enabled. Next, we want to copy some curves to the animation sequences so that you're able to play them in game. Select all the animation sequences in the parkour folder. Right click and select add modifier. Select copy curves. Then look for the original mantling animation for ALS V4. Enable copy all curves, then apply the modifier. Make sure to save everything. Now the animations are officially done. Find your ALS base character blueprint class. You want to go to the components and add BP underscore interpolation component and BP underscore parkour component. Now head into the, your construction script so that we can in initialize both components. Make sure to use the uninitialize function and not the multicast one. Also make sure to initialize the interpolation component before the parkour component. That's very important. In the player input graph, you want to add an input for the sliding. Here I'll just use the F key for testing purposes, but feel free to use the enhanced input plugin or any action mapping you want. Now we need to set up the animations for the parkour component. Make sure to choose the new animations we've set up before for the vaulting, sliding, and mantling. As you can see the sliding works properly, you can also rotate while sliding. If you want to change the rotation speed or the rotation rate during the slide, you can just change that in the parkour component. Now we need to replace all the mental check function occurrences with our own function. Here, however, you're going to use the try find obstacle and vault function and not the try find obstacle and mental function. And in the branch, you can plug in the is vaulting or mental in pure function. As you can see, you can now vault by using the jump button. And if you can't vault, the character will try to mantle instead. You'll need to make sure that mantle if vault fails is enabled. But most importantly, you want to disable auto mantle when falling to avoid conflicts with the ALS logic. Finally, you want to set the mantle start position forward offset so that the character is close to the wall when they're mantling.
I hope this wasn't too complicated. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop by the Discord server. You can also drop us a review at the Marketplace page to get verified on the Discord server and get access to asset-specific customer support. Thank you and until next time.